Let's make mean bean balls to serve in a tomato sauce with pasta. Yum! The beans I'm using have been grown in the Midlands, so they haven't had to travel far. There are recipe sheets to follow, and I'll show you how to make them. The bean ball mixture is great served with pasta and a tomato sauce, and it can also be shaped into burgers. When you've washed your hands and put an apron on, we're ready to cook. The main ingredient in the recipe is dried haricot beans. You can see them here, dried, soaked and cooked. The names of these UK grown varieties are Capulet, the white ones, and Godiva, the brown ones. The other ingredients in the bean balls are tomato puree, onion, garlic, parsley, dried oregano, free range egg, breadcrumbs, grapeseed oil and some salt and pepper. The ingredients for the tomato sauce are rapeseed oil, onion, garlic, chilli flakes, canned tomatoes, tomato puree and a little vinegar, caster sugar, salt and pepper for seasoning. You'll need the following equipment. This includes a saucepan, wooden spoon, sieve and a bowl. A chopping board, sharp knife and grater. A set of cutlery, including spoons, knife and fork and a pastry brush. A garlic crusher if you have one. A baking tray, a hand blender and a potato masher. You must cook the beans first. Put the beans and their soaking water in a large pan over a high heat and bring them to the boil. Boil them rapidly for 10 minutes and then lower the heat and simmer them for about an hour. Test to see if they're cooked enough by squishing a cooled bean between your thumb and finger or try eating one. If it's not soft enough, boil for a little longer. When the beans are nice and soft, drain them through a sieve and put them aside to cool down. Now we'll prepare the onion and garlic. It's best to grate the onion for this so there aren't any big chunks. Press and slide the onion down against the big holes on the grater and repeat until you're near the root end. We can use the end of the onion in another recipe so don't waste it. Take care not to catch your fingers and try not to get onion juice near your eyes. To crush the garlic, pull one clove from the bulb. Remove the skin, then push it through a garlic crusher or squash it with a table knife and a little salt. Have you thought of growing your own garlic at school or at home? It should be planted in autumn and will be ready to harvest the following summer. Now all the ingredients for the bean balls need mixing together. Start by mashing the beans and tomato puree to break open the bean skins. You can try this with a potato masher, but probably better would be a hand blender. Add the grated onion, herbs and breadcrumbs and mix well. Crack the egg into a small bowl and beat it with a fork. Then gradually add the egg to the bean mixture and mix. You might not need all of the egg. Season the mixture with black pepper and a pinch of salt. And if you like your food spicy, try adding some chilli flakes at this stage too. These bean balls will be baked, so now's the time to turn on the oven. Set it at 180 degrees Celsius or gas mark 4. Take heaped spoonfuls and shape the mixture in your hands into even sized balls. Place the balls on a baking tray, leaving a little space between them for the hot air to circulate. This will help them crisp up. When you've used up all the mixture, wash and dry your hands. Then brush each ball with some oil. I'm using rapeseed oil that has been grown and processed in the UK. Bake the bean balls for 15 to 20 minutes until they're golden brown and firm to the touch. If you don't have an oven or want to use less fuel, the bean balls can also be shallow fried on the hob. So now we'll make the tomato sauce. It's a really simple recipe. 
Heat the oil in a pan. Cook the onion and garlic for a minute or two until soft and shiny. And if you like a spicy tomato sauce, include some chilli flakes. Add the can of chopped tomatoes, the tomato puree, some sugar, salt and pepper and a touch of vinegar. Rinse out the tomato can with a tablespoon of water and pour this into the pan too. Then stir it all together. Bring it to the boil, then simmer for about 20 minutes. To stop the sauce from drying out too much, you can put the lid on. Serve the bean balls with freshly cooked pasta and homemade tomato sauce. A little grated cheddar cheese adds the finishing touch. Wow, these bean balls in tomato sauce look so good, I want to eat them now. Thumbs up for mean bean balls. <laughs>